everybody, it's Starlinesman 839 coming to you guys with a Pensacola model airport. Um, I got recently a comment on my SFO model airport um, from a guy from, I think he's, I guess he's from Indianapolis. He made a comment, um, it's great you have an Indy route, can you, ha can you make an Indianapolis airport? Um, I obviously investigated that, took a look at some aircraft that fly into there. Um, I just thought it, I didn't have enough Southwest aircraft to make it realistic. Um, there are too many RJs for me. As you can see, I'm not really that much of an RJ collector. Um, I've only got a couple US Airways Express aircraft, and then I've just got one E-145 from United, and then no American RJs. Um, hopefully Gemini Jets or definitely Herpa if they get around to something. Um, I've Obviously from seeing the um, uh, KLM E-190 from their newest releases, that's very exciting. So hopefully we can, um, I'm happy to see a new range of, um, obviously it is a new product line, and um, what have you, but still I'm hoping that that livery will change into something like JetBlue, obviously, but other aircraft, um, and hopefully the E-170 might be built as well, but as you, as you guys know, Herpa already makes the E-140, uh, the E-170 and 1-400 scale, so hopefully maybe they'll release an American Eagle, but, um, for right now I don't have any American RJs, but, um, this airport just kind of seemed okay for me, um, just saying that there's no American RJs, just one United, and then I got a couple US Airways, a lot of Deltas, um, only one southwest but hopefully in the future i will get some more southwests but um anyways i'll just get started with the airport update um so we got a delta md90 non-stop service um to atl over here we got a delta 737 700 just coming in from atl just taxiing off the runway to its gate um over here we got a delta md90 non-stop service to atl as well um us service express crj 900 as you can see where the the right stabilizer had to be um glued on um super glue wouldn't work because it's too uh too small of an area so i just had to use blue tack i apologize for that um i really don't know how it happened because i ended up with i just i didn't know i didn't know i just didn't understand because it wouldn't go back in and it really started to annoy me um, and I just don't know how it came off in the first place, so I just got stuck with that, so I had to just glue it back on. Luckily, it's no problem with the front land, uh, with any of the landing gears or anything, but, um, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, US Airways Express CRJ-200, and the 900, by the way, is heading over to CLT. CRJ-200, I believe, is also heading over to CO uh, CLT. Um, Southwest 737-700, non-stop service to Houston Hobby. And then a United Express E-145, just coming in from ORD. Um, so yeah, it's just right about to, uh, stop at its gate right there. Um, so yeah, from that comment, I just thought maybe I could just investigate some airports that, um, kind of fit this terminal here, because I do want to have kind of multiple airports. Um, as you guys know, I already have that, and over here, um, that's already happening right now, because I've got multiple airports on this giant board section here, um, used for ORD, SFO, HNL, um, so those are the main airports right now, even though I'm not building one of those right now, but, um, those are the three airports that I'm currently rotating, but I did want to add a fourth on this terminal to get use of it, um, because I've already, I put a mat, I put one of the mats down here, and I just want to get use of it somehow, instead of just putting my collection on top of it, so I just decided to build Pensacola Model Airport, but hopefully I can just see I get another airport you guys know my collection or if you don't check out my collection video um I made it in January something like that um so yeah it's a happy new year collection video go check that out um if you don't know what my collection is and please just give me some recommendations in the comments below if you have any recommendations or your airport um that I could possibly build myself um with the aircraft that I have just because I want to get use of it um because just because I want to get use of this terminal um so hopefully I can just use my aircraft in different ways and different airports and stuff but yeah anyways thanks very much for watching please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe hope you guys like this um probably not gonna be another update of this though just because I don't I don't really see me getting any other aircraft. Like I said, the E-190, hopefully that will develop into like an American Eagle, E-170, and E-175. Um, and Gemini Jets said they aren't going to make an E-145, I believe. I can't remember when that was, but um, yeah, they uh, cancelled the E-145 production in 1-400 scale, which kind of pissed me off a lot. But yeah, um, I think it was a like a one-time mold kind of thing, and I, they just lost the mold, so now they can't build anyone, any more E-145s. So that's pretty sad. Um, really annoys me that they that I can only rely on like JC wings to build an E-145 in 1-400 scale. Um, but hopefully I'll see some more USA Airlines in 1-400 uh, scale on the ERJs and CRJs as well. But yeah, Gemini Jets hasn't been releasing too many RJs recently, so...
Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.